Hey guys, it's Shock here, and I have about Yu Yu, my first Yu Yu Fitchin Yu battle ever. It's versus Zaggy Email, formerly known as Chillite Zero. The song choice is Living on the Edge by Aerosmith. As you can both see, we both have Victinis, but mine is a Charge Beam set, and his is, um, that Choice Carve set that I guess has been running around. So he's gonna leave with his Musabi, so I'm gonna leave my Tyra version 3.0. And this is an all out special attack, uh, Azel set. That I made up right at the end of uh, fourth generation, and he U turns, and I live that. And I'm like, I'm life orb, so I'm gonna die in a few turns, and I go for the him power ground, which is enough to take out his Nido Queen. Not enough, but it's not enough to take it out. But it's enough to do significant damage to it. And I thought about going for the fire blast here, but I went against it. So I'd go for the sub overkill psychic move. As he, as he goes on to Fat Chick, and Fat Chick's gonna this obviously need a light chancy. But being a timid life orb, I still do a decent bit. I'll go for another Psychic, just because I want to get some damage on it, and Terror Version 3 is pretty much just fodder material at this point. And he goes for the Wish, and I'm just like, bang, freaking tastic. We're back to this again. So I'm gonna go back out to my, I'm gonna go out to my Infidel Version 14, my mixed Togi Kiss set, and. I'm gonna go for the workup as he sends out Nido Queen. I'm just like, hmm. All right, He's probably not gonna be able to touch me. So I'm gonna go for a second workup because I want to try and see if I can get an Infidel version 14 sweep going. Here. So I go for the second workup. No, I got a plus two. Extreme speed's gonna hurt, but he goes for the Dragon Tail. Was not expecting this, and it doesn't do too much. And it brings out my own Victini, which is gonna take stealth, uh, no stealth rock damage. As he goes on to Weavile, I was going to go... I went for the Stab Psychic here. I should have went for the Fire Blast. This is where I should have went for the Fire Blast. I decided to switch out. Derp. Forgot Weavile had Pursuit. I doubt I would have lived the Pursuit anyways. And that kills my 15. So now I'm going to go on to my Eye Wall Wall. My custom special attack Registeel set. As he goes on to Nido Queen, correctly predicting my Thunder Wave. So I'm a bit sad based at this point. He goes out for Toxic Spikes, and I decide to set up my Stealth Rocks here. Because I'm like, alright, now I'll get some of my entry hazards up. I'm gonna switch out now, and I'm gonna go out into back out into Infidel version 14, knowing I can avoid all the Toxic Spike damage. Now he's got both layers of Toxic Spikes here, I'm like, crap. Because only Infidel version 14 and my Eye Wall all are immune. So I go for the Air Slash, and I'm like, come on, flinch this Nether Queen out. It doesn't do that much. He goes for another Dragon Tail and gets a critical hit. And out comes out my eyeball. I was like, alright. I'm just gonna, like, not even. I'm gonna ignore these toxic spikes thing all around me. So he's gonna switch out. He's gonna go out into double D as I go for the Flash Cannon, if I remember right. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Flash Cannon. This isn't my original eyewall set. My original eyewall set had Charge Beam, Flash Cannon, Ancient Power, and Hyper Beam. Hyper Beam just because I could. And so he's gonna go for the taunt, and I can't use Thunder Wave now because of the taunt. So I have Thunder Wave, Stealth Rocks, Charge Beam, and Flash Cannon as my move set. So he goes for Stealth, uh, Stealth Rocks, and I'm gonna go for the Charge Beam, and it doesn't do too much. It does an okay bit, and I get the special attack boost. I'm like, oh yeah. So at this point, I'm just like, all right, I'm gonna pretty much try and get Red Steel build up. As so I go for another Charge Beam. And it's gonna do obviously a little bit more. I'm gonna get another special attack boost. I'm like, oh my god, you go, I wall -alls. And uh, my taunt wore off. At this point, I thought about going for a thunder wave, but he went for spikes, and I knew Victini was still out there, and I probably won't live a, a V curate. But I go for another charge beam, and at this point, I'm at plus three, and I'm like, alright, now's the time to like start. Go for the flash cannon, see what happens. As I go for the flash cannon, after he sets up his last layer of spikes, so now he's completely got all his entry hazards up. It's enough to take out his double D's. And now he's going to go out into his Nido Queen, and I'm going to go straight for the Flash Cannon. I outspeed. I think he might have misclicked on Dragon Tail, I'm not sure. And that Flash Cannon is going to take out his Nido Queen. I'm like, go Eyewall, forming a mini sweep. And um, now he's going to go out into Musubi, Musabi. And I was like, I 
doubt I can live a V crate. I might be able to. Maybe min damage hacks. Doubtful. As he goes for that V crate, and that's going to take out my Iowa Hall. I was really extreme sad faced right there. Like, great. This sucks. So, after all he gets all the stat drops, I'm going to all faint. So now I'm going to go out to Infidel version 14, pick some stealth rock damage. Uh, but it's not actually my uh, Infidel V14, it's actually my physical Zoroark set. I was going to go straight for the Night Slash as he goes out into Sakume. I went for the Sucker Punch because I was predicting V crate, but obviously that failed. I'm going to go for the Night Slash here. Because the Zorak and Ramirez base 105 special uh, 105 attack, and I get a critical hit. I'm like, you go, and he hits with Hydro Pump. I was really hoping he would have missed, because that probably would have. I might have been able to take him out with another Night Slash. But then I noticed his life orb and went wild. So I'm gonna go on Infidel version 14. Just go straight for the extreme speed. Not the extreme speed. I go for the Air Slash. I almost went for the extreme speed here, but I didn't think it would KO. So I went for the safe Air Slash, knowing I could outspeed. So after I get some leftovers, she's going to go on to back on the Musu, uh, Musabi, and I'm going to go straight for the extreme speed, thinking, okay, if I score a crit, I can get rid of this thing, and it'll be happy days. But look, look at that. That's uh, Tim in nature right there. Uh, Toy Kiss. And it still did a good bit with extreme speed. He goes for the fusion bolt, and that's obviously going to wreck him Fidel version 14. So now I'm going to go on to my North Wind, my last remaining Pokemon, I'm going to be badly poisoned, take stealth rock damage, take spikes damage, and I'm going to pull off the craziness. This is my modest uh, Calm Mind Sweeper set. It's going to go for the Fusion Bolt, and I'm going to live with 7 HP, 4 HP. Epic, isn't it? I go for the Surf, and that's going to take out his Musabe, and I'm just like, alright, I don't care. I know I've lost this battle. Uh, after I get on leftovers, I'm going to be down to about 7 HP, 4 HP. But I don't care. I took a fusion bolt and lived. So he's gonna go back on to Weavile and it's gonna go for the safe night slash. So good game, Zaggy Emo. Guys remember to like, comment, subscribe. Guys go check out his channel, watch his side of the battle, and peace guys.